everyone. Hi Global Hackathon by Tana. I'm so glad to be with you today. So uh, I am Rasha Fligi, AI expert at Talent Innovation Factory, the R&D department of Talent Tunisia. Our mission is to identify and develop new and innovative use cases of disruptive technologies for, of course, empowering our customers. We also cooperate with national and international partners uh, in R&D, like universities and research labs. We also proudly uh, contribute to the training of uh, Talon's next generation of outstanding tech consultants. So I'm here today um, to give you an overview of how we perceive and how we deal with um, the evolution of AI paradigm shifts. So I can say that there are two main ways that we can identify to um, categorize or um, to pursue the evolution of artificial intelligence. So the first way um, of seeing this evolution or what I call a taxonomy is um, a research and a fundamental based uh, taxonomy uh, which concentrates or which focuses on the fundamental principles of artificial intelligence. So here we can think of the first um, or the early stage of artificial intelligence with expert systems, symbolic AI, then the arrival of machine learning, then deep learning, and then uh, the arrival even of new techniques of, um, of learning, such as um, forward, forward learning. So this is one way of following this evolution as based, as I said, on fundamental principle. The second taxonomy um, that is more human centric or user centric that um, represents a taxonomy with respect to the relationship of AI with society and with the human. And I can see this is more related to the topic of uh, uh, this hackathon. So um, based on this taxonomy, um, we identified three stages. Um, I refer to the first stage as AI for human. So the primary objective of this stage of, or this phase of artificial intelligence was to assist humans and to augment human capabilities. So at this phase, artificial intelligence systems were designed to perform specific tasks like predicting a value, um, finding a pattern, um, response to my question, one specific question, and also to maybe to automate repetitive tasks in order to avoid errors or to reduce consume time. Examples of this stage, of course, are all the applications in all um, domains that we have seen um, related to expert systems or early stage uh, virtual assistance or recommendation systems, etc. The second um, state of or stage of um, this taxonomy, um, I would call it a guy as a human. So I think this is this was um, really a big shift in our perspective to artificial intelligence. So during this stage, AI aimed to mimic human-like cognition, human-like understanding and interaction. Um, and this stage was empowered by um, evolution and the increase in the performance of neural networks, um, natural language processing uh, tools, such as the LLMs, the famous LLMs. So, I mean, the one big and obvious example of this is, of course, um, ChatGPT and ChatGPT-like uh, platforms where an um, user, a human, can deal or lead a conversation, an intuitive and normal conversation with an AI system. And the power of ChatGPT um, solution is that for once and for the first time we have an AI solution that is publicly uh, accessible by everyone in the world, whatever is the background or um, the sector of activity and everyone
can see how far artificial intelligence capabilities have evolved. So now let's move on to the next or to the third stage that I identify as AI over human. So here you may think of it as um, AI surpassing human capabilities, but no, this is not <laughs> what I mean. Actually, we mean by AI over human is AI um, becoming an, an entity or a tool um, capable of autonomously making decisions and autonomously solving problems. Um, this may sound like controversial, like futuristic for you, but I would say that um, there are works in progress towards um, these type of solutions. Um, yeah, and this is powered by techniques like self-learning, and um, this is powered by uh, evolution and um, um, yeah, evolution in domains or in technologies like quantum computing that will accelerate and optimize the, um, the computations um, behind artificial intelligence. Um, one maybe also one obvious example of these self-learning systems that is existing and that everyone um, knows about are self-driving cars. Yes, they are circulating the roads and they are performing like quite, quite good. Um, okay, so um, as you can see, based on these two taxonomies, we can see that we are moving with two different speeds. I mean, the research based and the user uh, and human based, uh, let's say, speed or uh, pace. And also we can see that two sets of skills are required to be up to date with respect to artificial intelligence evolution. So our mission at our Innovation Factory is to be able to keep an eye on both taxonomies, on both point of views of artificial intelligence. And why um, is this important and why is this crucial? Because now with the evolution of, of artificial intelligence and with the capabilities it is proving, uh, many considerations and discussions around um, explainability, around accountability, privacy, security, etc. are now put um, on the table and um, in order for us to provide AI-based solutions and um, AI-based consulting services for our customers and partners, we um, should be able to explain what is happening under the hood, I mean, to explain the fundamentals of this technology in order to avoid, so what we call, <laughs> call it like black box artificial intelligence, but also to identify the limitations, to be up to date uh, with respect to the trends, and also, and most importantly, to identify suitable um, solutions for each domain of activity. So this being said, um, responsible AI, which covers all the aspects uh, that we have talked about, uh, like explainability, security, privacy, accountability, um, etc., um, is becoming the umbrella term that somehow steers our work at our innovation factory, of course, with respect to artificial intelligence. So here, I want to share with you some examples of the projects and works um, related to responsible AI. Uh, one um, example of uh, these projects is um, adding new layers to generative AI tools, um, such as um, a layer of role-based management uh, layer, allowing us to control what type of data is accessed by each type um, of role. Uh, another layer that uh, we are working on combining with generative AI is a memory layer with the purpose of um, blending generative AI capabilities uh, with big data also capabilities. 
Another um, project that we are mostly proud of uh, was the topic, which was the topic of a research paper that was recently uh, published in academic conference is DFL. So what is DFL? Uh, DFL is um, a blockchain fully orchestrated federated learning topology. So this is kind of architecture proposed by Talon Innovation Factory and this architecture is, it allows privacy preserving and consistent collaboration around NAI solution, NAI model, uh, without sharing data. Yes, this is possible. So we have a group of stakeholders who would or who want to collaborate around AI solution, but um, they have a concern of sharing um, data in order to avoid the associated um, risks with respect to privacy and uh, criticity of the data. So this architecture, DFL, is was proposed in order to solve such um, dilemma. So yeah, this is it for today. I hope this was interesting and insightful for you. Thank you for your attention and thank you again Global Hackathon for the invitation. Um, I would hope all the best of luck to the participants. I'm quite sure that we are going to see amazing solutions that will impact society positively. Thank you so much. Bye.